All right, you guys, are you ready to de-stash Orly? Well, okay, I need to de-stash Orly. You guys are just gonna be along for the ride. I hope you enjoy. So we've got a lot of really older polishes in here. Orly was some of my first polishes I ever collected, and I can see a lot of them are separating quite nicely. That's okay, though. We're gonna go ahead and reincorporate them they still work super great even if they're separated. We're going to go ahead and give them a go, see how they look on, and make quick decisions about what to de-stash and what is gonna hang around. Speaking of separated, what the heck is this? <laughs> That's all right though, like I said, it doesn't really matter, it can reincorporate quickly. Another one. So funny. Oh, there was one that was really, really separated. Let me find it. Okay, these are both pretty bad. So funny. But this just goes to show you, I'm not wearing them. I'm not pulling them out often enough, but I really love Orly. So these are going to be hard to part with, but I need to de-stash. So let's go ahead and get right to it. All right. So like I said, we're going to be making fast decisions here. I'm going to base it off of how they swatch and how they look on my nail. This is Pixie Sticks, and I think this one is really pretty. I like the finish of it. It's not completely opaque at two coats, but I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this one. Next we have Coachella Dweller. This is an older polish, huh? You guys remember this collection? It's a beautiful kind of... Mm, it's on the sheer side of green. I think that I'm going to go ahead and keep this one as well. That's cute. All right, Starburst. I don't even really remember the collection. Was there, it, there was one that had like all these interesting glitters in it. This is just not really my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of milky white bases, just something aesthetically for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Next up, Wild Wisteria is this gorgeous deep purple cream. This one has a pretty awesome two coat formula. It's just, it's, it's really lovely. I really like it, so I'm going to be keeping this one. But there are a bunch of shades like this in my collection, so we'll see how many I keep. Next up is Mysterious Curse. This one is a kind of fuchsia plummy purple hybrid luster shade here. Um, it's kind of cool in concept, but it's just too sheer. I don't think I'm ever really going to find myself wanting to wear it, so I'm going to pass it along. Next up is Velvet Rope, which is another lustry shade, um, more on the plum side here, and it has some tiny micro silver glitters in there. Again, this is pretty, but I don't think I'm going to wear it, so I'm going to pass this one along. Okay, Charged Up is, again, another really beautiful purple, pretty similar to the last purple that I kept, but this one is brighter, and it's a little bit more jelly-ish. Um, mm, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it. Ah, I can't help it. Next, it's up to blue. I have a couple of lustry, like bright blue lustry polishes to go through today. This one looks very similar to the other one, and I think I like the other one better coming up, so I'm going to pass this one along. This is Digital Glitter. This is a really pretty glitter. It has some fun shades in there and shimmers, but I just don't really think, I don't even ever really think about this polish, so I'm going to de-stash this one. Foul Play is a cool polish. It's a purple jelly base. It's deep purple and it has flakies in there and shimmers. And it's really, really pretty. It is pretty sheer at two coats though. It would definitely be a topper. I'm gonna pass this one along. Next up we have Liquid Vinyl, which is just a beautiful um, black cream polish. It doesn't get exceptionally opaque at one coat and that's usually what I want in a black polish. It's just okay. I don't really ever think of it, so I'm gonna de-stash it. Feel the Funk is a cool polish. It is really, really neat. It's not really something I think to wear, but as I was swatching it for this video, I was just really remembering how cool this polish is. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this one. It has beautiful glitters, a really fun shimmer, so I like it. Masked Ceremony is a beautiful dark silver and black shimmer with some glitters in there. Um, it's a cool polish, but I'm going to de-stash it. Intergalactic Space. This one is a really fun glitter. Again, a lot of cool glitters today that I'm going to be de-stashing just because I don't think to wear them, but they're beautiful. They made it through a prior de-stash, so this is a really cool polish, but I'm going to go ahead and let go of it. 
Another really cool polish, this is glitters. It has a bunch of different things in there, tiny little bar glitters. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Definitely a topper, but I'm going to go ahead and de-stash it. Melodious Utopia. I remember when this polish came out. I wanted this to be so good because it has all that beautiful shimmer in there. The formula isn't really my favorite. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this on even though it's yellow. Oh, that was hard to do. Am I doing okay, you guys? I'm trying to make hard decisions. Passion Fruit is just so, so good. I'm definitely hanging on to this one. It has a beautiful... It's a crelly to matte consistency. It's just gorgeous. I'm keeping it. Next up, we have Mind's Eye. That already had a little bit of something on it already because I accidentally swatched something else on top of there. Quickly just took it right off. Um, this is gorgeous. Beautiful two coat consistency. Love the shade. Keeping it. Okay, Notorious Glow Stick. This is really, really good over a white base. It is eye-searingly bright. Um, but on its own, which is how I like to wear neons. It is a streaky mess. Look at how bright that is, but I'm gonna go ahead and de-stash it because it's just, it's kind of a mess. Next up is Gumdrop. This has been one of my favorite oily polishes for a long time. It has a beautiful two coat consistency and it's just this lovely sea green shade, nice and bright, so I'm gonna hang on to this one. Next we have Boho Bonnet and this is a beautiful, crelly, light, purpley blue, gray. Uh, this kind of color just stops my heart so I'm gonna keep it even though it doesn't get super opaque but I'm gonna hang on to it this is rage a beautiful kind of mm, almost kind of rosy champagne bronze it's really really pretty again though I don't really think about it it is it's gorgeous though but I'm gonna de-stash it Okay, this is Milky Way. This is very similar to that other one. What was it called? Stargazer that I already passed up. Look at all those cool glitters in there. This is really pretty, but I just don't care for the look of these kinds of polishes that much. So I will go ahead and de-stash this, but it is a really cool polish. Teal Unreal. This is so aptly named. This polish formula, look at that. Good at one coat. It is so, so good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hang on to this one. That one is awesome. Star Trooper, another glitter that I'm gonna be passing along. It has gorgeous, you know, variations of glitter in there with the shimmer and then the different sizes of white glitter. But I just won't, I don't ever think of it. This is Lemonade, a beautiful yellow polish. I really, really like this one, so I'm gonna be keeping it. One of my favorite yellows, actually, as far as consistency goes. Really easy to paint. Peaceful Opposition, was this one from the Melodious Utopia too? I think it was. Again, it's that white creaminess. Um, it's a really cute polish, though. I mean, if you don't have an issue with that, you might really, really like this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and de-stash that. Gravity Bound is cool. I love all that blue shimmer in there with the white, it's kind of like a gray white glitter and the purple, but again, I just don't really think of wearing glitters that often, so I'm gonna pass it on, de-stash it. Hopefully somebody else will be able to use it. This is Green Apple, this is gorgeous. This is like lemonade, but it's green. It has a beautiful two coat formula, look at that. Stunning, bright, ooh, I love this one. I think I got it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Opposites Attract is a very beautiful, <laughs> purple blue shade exactly you know up my alley but I just don't like it as much as some of the others I kept so I'm gonna pass this one along basket case is an awesome bright pink this one has a great formula was basically opaque at one coat I don't think I'm keeping any other bright hot pinks from Orly so I'm gonna hang on to this one and it is a good one Snow Cone. This may be my favorite OPI, or excuse me, not OPI, Orly of all time. I love this shade. I've had it forever. I suggest it to everyone. It's one of my favorite blues. Such a great formula. Definitely holding on to this puppy. Okay, this is a no-name polish. I'm really sorry about that. I've tried to search this and can't come up with a name, but I love this mustard yellow. Love, love, love. It's like a honey mustard, and I'm keeping it. Okay, this is Frosting, so cute. This is a recent acquisition. This beautiful light white with gold shimmer. Um, I have other polishes, however. There's a lot like this, and so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. 
Road trippin'. Okay, this one I like better than glow stick. I'm gonna keep this one and de-stash glow stick because this is a more recent polish that they came out with. And even though the formula still isn't that awesome, not my favorite, it's much better in my opinion than glow sticks. I'm gonna hang on to this one. This is Torrid. Ooh, this is a beautiful shade. This is so, so pretty. Um, I don't know though, it just, it's too sheer. I'd have to wear it as a topper. So I'm gonna go ahead and de-stash. Next up, Red Rhapsody. This is pretty similar to that black cherry polish, I think from their recent collection. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Ooh, I think I'm gonna have to keep it. It's so pretty. It's a little bit purplier, I think, than the black cherry. I'm gonna keep that one. Sea Girl is a beautiful kind of graphite, but it has a lot of brown in it, lustry shade. I think I'm gonna de-stash it. It's so pretty though, but I gotta let it go. <laughs> I'm trying to let things go, you guys. This is Frisky. It's beautiful. It's on the same level as Snow Cone. They are pretty similar, but look at how bright that is. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's so good. I'm gonna keep this. Prelude to a Kiss. Um, yeah, I, I remember hanging on to this because I hang on to the whole collection, I feel like, that this came from. Maybe. My memory isn't the best, you guys. This is pretty, but I never think of it, so I'm gonna de-stash it. Go Go. Okay, I remember. This was in a Swatch Fest kind of recently. It's just a sheer off-white, pretty much white shade. I mean, it's okay. I can I can see the where you'd want to wear this, but I'm going to de-stash it because I don't think of it. This is trendy, and this has a mess of a formula. It's a really beautiful bright neon pink, gorgeous pink, but it's hard to put stuff in neons, you guys, because those pigments do not want to mix. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to de-stash this one just because I didn't love the formula, but it's gorgeous. Put the top down. Okay, I said I wasn't going to keep any other neon pinks, didn't I? But I'm going to keep this one because it's so good. Dang, it's really similar to Passion Fruit, isn't it? Ugh, it's so, so good though. I may go through afterwards and put them on side by side and then pick one to de-stash. Bubbly Bombshell. I love this one. We reviewed this one kind of recently too, huh? Um, yeah, I'm going to hang on to this. This is going to be one of the only glitters that I'm going to hang on to today because I just love how that looks so much. It's so pretty. So, yep, keeping it. Preamp. This is a pretty polish. They made this one nice and sheer, though, because, you know, to really let that shimmer shine. So, because of that, I mean, yeah, it's not really the best on its own. Then there's one similar that I am going to keep, so I'm going to go ahead and de-stash preamp. Hip and Outlandish is beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and get it fully painted on here until I make my decision. I'm making all of these decisions on the fly, by the way. I didn't decide until after I'd edited everything. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to keep it. That's too cute. I'm keeping that. Notice I keep all the bright things pretty much from Orly because they do a really good job. Okay, a third neon pink. This one is more blue toned though. Oh my goodness, this is hard. Orly does such great neons, you guys. I'm going to hang on to this one. <laughs> okay. All right, Mirror Ball, you guys know. This is a favorite. This is such a great holographic polish. Really, really fine little glitters in there. It's not very opaque at two coats, so you have to do three or even four maybe, but you could wear it over another silver. I'm keeping it. This is Revere. This is a beautiful orange luster has some beautiful gold shimmers in there. Ooh, this is a hard one. Okay, I'm keeping it. Mm, that might be the only orange I'm keeping today. Scenic Route, you guys know I adore this polish. It is so fabulous. If you don't have it, pick it up. It was basically opaque there. You saw it at one coat. So crazy good. Close your eyes. Oh, this is beautiful. I must have picked this up at a Marshalls because I don't recall the collection this came from. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is like on the opposite end of Scenic Route. I love this polish so much. Androgyny. This is a cool polish. Another glitter that I will probably be de-stashing. But look at all those cool iridescent glitters in there. Oh, this is such a cool look. I'm sorry. I have to say goodbye to Androgyny. I've had you for a while. I'm going to de-stash it though. Water Lily. This one is a recent review. This is really, really good. Again, man, so many great pinks, purples, and blues from Orly. I'm going to keep it. I can't help myself. Unlawful. Okay, a beautiful jelly red. Let's see how it, go, how it finishes up here in just a second. Mm, 
I'm going to go ahead and pass it on. There's so many reds in this world. I need it to have a little bit more opacity. Paradise Cove. Okay, I remember this one. Let's see how this go. If this finishes up. It does dry matte. has some beautiful, subtle shimmer. Mm, keeping it. Look at that, you guys. Ah, so stunning. Oh, my goodness. Orly and their neons. Okay, Skinny Dip. This is a beautiful blue shimmer. This is kind of similar to that China Glaze Azure polish, huh? That's really pretty. I think I'll keep it, but I might go through these blues and weed out. Okay, another neon pink. I'm definitely gonna go through the neon pinks and put them all side by side and then decide. This one is a little bit more red though. Whoa, that's a lot more red. Definitely keeping for now. <laughs> I gotta go through those pinks though. All right, Precisely Poppy. This is a cute jelly poppy red shade. It's really cute. I have a feeling though this isn't gonna be opaque enough for me at two coats. Let's take a look. Oh, it's pretty good. Mm, I think I'm gonna still destash it. That's why I like, I like watching myself swatch them and then put them on my finger because it helps me decide. Ablaze is one of my favorite orange neons ever if you don't have it. This is an example of where they did not mess up the formula by putting in Chunky Shimmer. It's really, really pretty. Orange Punch. This is a beautiful orange jelly. It's a curly jelly. It's not super sheer. Um, I'm going to destash it. I'm not crazy about it. So, Next up is Royal Navy. Ooh, this is pretty. I remember this one, but it doesn't get opaque enough. Mm, it's so pretty though, but you'd have to wear it as a topper pretty much. I love all that shimmer in there, so gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and destash that one. This is Harmonious Mess. I think it comes from the same collection as Melodious Utopia. This gets this gets pretty good and opaque. It's a nice like gray blue. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Gotta keep that one. Haley or Halley's Comet. This is beautiful, huh? Look at all that gorgeous shimmer. It kind of reminds me of the KL Polish one. Just doesn't get opaque. It has the, it's kind of the same issue as the KL Polish one. I'm going to pass it on. This is Cake Pop. This is kind of similar to that one we were just looking at, the something mess. <laughs> A little bit different, though, on the wider side. I'm going to go ahead and pass this one on. I only need one of those two very light whites. Okay, this is one of the breathable formulas, or you know, the oxygenated formula or whatever. I love all of them. I actually I think I only have three. Keeping it, definitely keeping it. Jealous Much, a beautiful light green. Mm, just kind of like a light mint green. Let's see how it firms up in opacity. That's nice. Um, I think I'm still gonna de-stash this. It is really cute though. Okay, Life's a Beach. I think this is my favorite neon orange ever. I really like that Color Club one um, from the Poptastic collection, but this one is so, so good. So bright, really good. I recommend it to all of you. Yes, keeping it. High on Hope, this is beautiful. This is, has these beautiful, subtle little shimmers in here in this dusty, dark base. But again, you either need three coats or make it a topper, so I'm gonna pass it on. Summer Sunset. This is like a dandelion lion neon, I think, that they were trying to do here with some beautiful shimmer. Um, but, oh, I don't know. I'm torn. I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> I have a soft spot for yellows. I can't help it. Okay, so this is Sweet Peacock, one of my other favorite blues of all time. This one was the one that I was referring to earlier when I said that other blue shimmer was like this one. This is it. Keeping it. I love this polish. Retro Red, this polish is cool. It had a, it has a, like um, that matte frosty glass. Really fun polish. Actually, a little bit more fun to look at than wear. <laughs> it's cute. I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass it on, though. So there's just so many yellows out there. Light as a Feather, this is another one from their new breathable line, and it's gorgeous. I mean, I don't really need any other very light white pinks. That's it right there. So good. Hookup is a lustry, shimmery yellow that does not get very opaque at two coats. Um, even at three coats, I can tell there it wouldn't get opaque enough. I'm going to go ahead and pass it along. Terracotta is a really beautiful, hot coral. It's gorgeous. Let's watch and see how opaque it gets. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I think I'm going to keep that one. So, yeah, I'm adding to my, my hot pinks some more. I didn't even really know that was going to happen. Okay, Garnet Truth, you're just not opaque enough. Not interested in you passing it along. 
lollipop oh that's a beautiful color wow it's like a little bit purpley of a pink and that opacity was awesome so yes I'm gonna hang on to that polish please beautiful disaster it's another lustry plum kind of similar to that other one we looked at but it doesn't have anything inside of it mmm I just don't like the look of that on my nails so I'm gonna de stash that buried alive Ooh, this is a spooky shade I didn't have anything else like this and this is why I kept it so long but I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass it along because I never think about it. La Playa is a gorgeous blue, crelly blue. It is so beautiful. I'm hanging on to that one for sure. I love it. I like to wear it with that other mustard no name. Okay, Oh Cabana Boy, beautiful lustry pink. Um, this one just doesn't get opaque enough at two coats, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. Hey look, a hot pink I passed along. Cool in California. Okay, this came from their most recent spring collection, right? All of these ones, I kept the whole collection, but they just, I just don't love the consistency of these polishes, so I'm gonna pass it along, even though that was a really beautiful, bright pastel. Million Dollar Views, it's a pretty shade. Nothing that I ever really think about, so I'm gonna de-stash it. Cahuenga Pass, I'm sorry if I've butchered that every single time I've said it. It's a beautiful jelly orange red. Beautiful, but I never think of it, so I'm gonna de-stash it. Under the Stars is a beautiful lustry royal blue. Um, again, yeah, I'm just not super impressed by that, so I'm gonna de-stash it. See you soon. Oh, this is pretty. Beautiful sea blue with green shimmer. I think I'm gonna keep that, even though it's not fully opaque, I'm gonna keep it. Surfer Dude, this is another really awesome orange neon. Get this one and that other orange I was showing you and you will be set for life. I'm gonna hang on to that, that is so beautiful. The Who's Who, let's see how you firm up the Who's Who. Mm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rock La Playa instead of this one. That's really pretty though, that's a gorgeous shade of blue. Big City Dreams, this is another from their La La Land collection. I just, I mean, I kept that other light mint. Looks very similar to that and it has a better formula. As seen on TV, same story here. I just did not love this collection. All beautiful shades, but they gave me problems on my nails. They were just messy and runny. Sunset Boulevard, this is beautiful. Another jelly, fiery red with shimmer, but a little too sheer for me. I'm gonna need to de-stash this one. Okay, Celebrity Spotting. I'm obsessed with this shade. So this is the one polish out of that collection. I think there was only one that I was really, really loving. That was it. So yes, keeping that. Anything Goes this is a beautiful topper. As you can see, it's going to just look crazy awesome over a black. Ooh, I think I'm going to de-stash it though. Parting the Hills from the same collection as um, Cahuenga Pass. I don't know, I just don't really think of it, so I'm going to de-stash it. This is vintage. This polish is so good. Watch how this looks on two coats. It is so bright. One of the brightest polishes that they have. Definitely pick it up if you are interested in this kind of bright green. So great. Hillside Hideout. This is the other one from that collection last fall that I really, really liked. So keeping this one as well, that's beautiful. Beautiful berry with shimmer. It's like a dusty mauvey berry. Mansion Lane was from that collection as well. This is beautiful. You guys know I love grays. It's a little bit of a dirty gray. Mm, I don't know. I guess I'll keep that one. Okay, up all night. This is pretty. Silvery gray. But I just don't really think about it. So I'm going to pass it along. Beautifully Bizarre. This polish is cool. This was one of the first, I feel like one of the first ones from Orly that I had that had this kind of contrasting shimmer, which doesn't show up a lot here as you can see in the swatch photo, but it's such a cool polish. Invite Only. Um, this is really the only like Christmassy green that I showed you here today, huh? Um, I'm going to pass it along. Yeah, I just didn't like the jelly formula. November Fog from the most recent collection. Now this one is gorgeous. It had a much better consistency than the one, the ones in the spring collection, so I'm going to keep that one. Brilliant Boysenberry. This one is a cool topper. It has a lot of fun shimmers. It's a duochrome kind of look, just like the one in the recent collection, but I think I'm going to pass it along. Ingenue. Um, these are all next to each other because I had them in the drawer in, in my helmet at the same spot from the comparison in the most recent video. I'm going to pass this one along as well. Silken Quartz. 
I remember I was telling you guys in the video I really did enjoy this polish. Um, so I don't know. I don't think I enjoyed it enough to keep it in this D stash. I'm trying to make hard decisions here. Meet me at Mulholland. This was from last fall. Remember I was telling you this was similar to Velvet Kaleidoscope, but I don't really think to wear it as a topper, so I'm going to de-stash it. Just Bitten is from this fall as well. It's a beautiful jelly red, but again, mm, I don't know. I didn't keep any jelly reds, did I? I'm going to de-stash that. Blue Suede, this was from this collection as well. That looks so beautiful. It looks just like La Playa. I'm going to need to put them side by side and see which one I want to keep. Velvet Kaleidoscope, I am keeping this one. Beautiful duochrome shimmer and it gets more opaque than those other ones I was showing you. So I'm going to keep this because I think that's good at three coats. Flawless Flush, this one is pretty and look at how opaque it gets at two coats. I'm going to hang on to this, a beautiful light dusty pink with shimmer. So I'm going to hang on to that. We are coming here to the last polish. This is Black Cherry. Oh, you guys, that's so bright and beautiful. I think I need this one and the other one I said it was similar to. So yeah, so gorgeous keeping it. All right, you guys, so here is the final pile. Which one do you think is keep and which is de-stash? This is kind of tricky because I'm actually de-stashing the ones that are back in my homers. Isn't that silly of me? Anyway, here's what I'm keeping here on the right. One, two, three, four, five. I think there are 51 there. And I'm de-stashing more. So yay, this was a successful de-stash. So I did mention that after this de-stash, I was going to start putting things up on my store envy. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I have a store envy that's specifically used for de-stashing. Basically, all the polishes up there have only been swatched one time, whether for a review or for swatch fest. And like I mentioned before, if it's been swatched more than one time, that means I like it enough to keep it so it's not going up on the website. And things are very budget friendly on my store envy. <laughs> Try to give you guys a pretty great break um, so that you can make some happy homes for these polishes um, at your place. So I hope you enjoyed this D stash. If you want to go check out that store envy, the link is in the description bar so you can head on over there. I'm going to also be putting up polishes from the other two D-Stash videos that I've already done. If you are unaware that I did more D-Stash videos, I'm going to pop cards up here in the top right hand corner of the video for you. We looked at Color Club and then we looked at Pure Ice, actually Pure Ice was first. And so those polishers are going to go up as well. So I hope that you have happy shopping if you are interested in shopping my D-Stash. And I hope that if you were just here to watch me make a decisions about <laughs> clearing out some polish, I hope you enjoyed that too. So, yes, thanks for spending some of your time with me today, guys. I love you oh so much, and I will see you back for the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.